Hello and welcome to the Late Toy Show. I'm Alan and before I begin, I just want to address something I said in the last video where I said that I wasn't a customizer. Many people called me out on that and so I felt like I should clarify something. I am not a good customizer. The customs I do are very crude and only hold up to certain camera angles and lighting setups. So yes, technically I am a customizer, just not someone you would pay to have your toys customized. Alrighty then, for today's episode, I am continuing my love affair with McFarlane Toys and talk about Steppenwolf, Darkseid, and a little bit of Bizarro. That's it for the long intro. Now ready the Armada. We will use the old ways. Let's start with Steppenwolf. I have the Whedon Steppenwolf by Beast Kingdom. And while that figure had a great sculpt, it had a lot of QC issues in the way of super loose joints and a very heavy axe. I just had to dig a little bit on that design with this pick. Of course, I wanted to recreate some scenes with him battling the Justice League. This pick uses the same techniques I do to light up effects. Click on the info button above to watch my tutorial. In this shot, I spent a lot of time trying to hide the wire stand that held up Wonder Woman. With enough bending and angle finding, I managed to take a couple of shots with slightly different angles. I also had a lot of fun modifying the smoke effects with the mist maker by blowing a bit of air as I snapped the photo. Eventually, I proceeded to put LEDs in Steppenwolf's and Darkseid's eyes. Since these figures were bigger, it was a lot easier to drill holes and insert the LEDs in their heads. For Bizarro, I wanted to create his Bizarro number no. 1 necklace. It was a quick build using foam board and a small chain you can get at the bead accessory store. On to Darkseid. The first thing I modified on Darkseid was his stuck ankles. I had to heat it up and move it around so that he can get some ankle pivot. Secondly, I drilled this ice out so that I can install a couple of LEDs. As usual, I had these wired to temporarily plug in to two AA batteries and hidden away from view, except for this thing. I also wanted to create a lava type diorama. This was also a fairly quick build. I used scrap cardboard from carton boxes as the base. I cut out some holes for the lava river. I covered the holes with scrap plastic from toy packaging and proceeded to create little bumps with scrap cardboard and foam. I used hot glue to add some lava textures to the transparent plastic parts. I then covered everything with wall putty to blend everything together for that rocky terrain. I painted the ground black and dry brushed it gray. For the lava, it was just mostly red and yellow, but the light underneath will really sell the lava rivers. For the background mountains, I made a cardboard base for the shape. I then filled the shape with crumpled scrap paper. Then I covered everything in crumpled aluminum foil to get that rocky texture. I then painted everything black and dry brushed gray over it. To complete the effect, I placed an LED ring-shaped light underneath the diorama to light up the lava. Combined with some mist, it really sells the effect of a very hot lava ground. I'm glad I got the shirtless version of Darkseid instead of the armored one because based on the reviews I saw, the armor hindered the diaphragm joint. 
so I made some paper armor for dark side. Separating the upper body from the lower part to still access the joint. I used metallic glue and shaded it with black wash and silver dry brushing. A Justice League photo shoot wouldn't be complete without the mother boxes. So I did two versions. Sleeping mother boxes made of cardboard and used a 3D pen for the details. And a wake or woke boxes made of plastic chicken wire and cardboard with some colored cellophane so I can shine some light inside. I used a combination of hot glue and plastic scrap from toy boxes to create the energy effects that made the boxes float. For the photo shoot, I put some string lights inside the boxes while lighting the whole set from behind. I made the last shot in the series for a local toy photography contest with Geek Clicks and Henry's cameras. I just got the Mafex cyborg figure and finally had all members for this scene. I created Dark Side's Omega Beams with a 3D pen and stuck it on his eyes with sticky tack. And that's it for Dark Side and Steppenwolf versus the Justice League. Check out my Instagram at Late Toy Show for more toy photography. Also check out the Titan Masters in IG and YouTube, where fellow toy photographers Harold Ruiz, Patrick Ong, Akira Joe and Isaiah Puyea talk about the world of kaiju toy photography with special guests. Also check out Geek Clicks, where host Chris Lina invites toy photographers from the Philippines and around the world to talk about toy photography. Thanks for watching. See you next time.